Hey guys, Eddie the Magic Monk here. Today I want to show you how to solve a quadratic equation on your graphics calculator. I'm going to start off by doing it the long way because then you learn more about the formula and um, how the calculator works. So let's say I have an equation, a quadratic equation, 0 equals, let's say, uh, 3x squared plus 2x uh, minus 1 and I want to solve this equation if you guys remember the quadratic formula x basically equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a if you remember this formula for solving x where a is equal to the number in front of x squared and b is equal to the number in front of x the coefficient of x and c is equal to negative one so to solve this uh, equation basically we substitute the numbers into the formula oops three is actually a so we substitute the numbers into the formula and b is 2 so we put it into the formula and put this in there and then we put it in the calculator and we solve it so we're pretty much going to do that with the calculator with a bit of a twist so basically in the calculator what I'm going to do is uh, after turning it on I'm going to clear the memory first so just clear everything that's in there and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to input these three numbers into the variables a, b, and c. So in order to do that, let's say we want to put in a is equal to 3. So what I'm going to do is 3 and I'm going to put in the store button, store, into, and then I'm going to press alpha a. And what that does is, is it stores the number 3 into where A is. So you can press enter now and it will store um, the number into A. So next time if you press second, uh, sorry, if you press alpha A and press enter, you will get the number 3. So similarly, we're going to store the numbers 2 into B and negative 1 into C. And to do that slightly quicker, you would press 2, and then you're going to press, um, where is it, store, and then you're going to press alpha B, and then you're going to use the colon, so um, alpha uh, dot. And that allows you to input multiple uh, instructions on one line, so then you have negative 1 um, stores into C so alpha C okay so if you press enter then both of these are stored so if you press B so alpha B you should get 2 and if you press alpha C you should get negative 1 so A B and C are all stored into these variable names so now to use the quadratic formula Right, all you have to do is basically input this whole formula. So you're going to put in a uh, bracket, okay, and then you're going to put in negative b, and obviously the plus minus we can't do both of them at once, so let's just do plus first, and then let's do square root, which is second x squared square root of bracket uh, b squared so alpha b squared minus 4 ac for a c all right close the bracket now this bracket you're closing belongs to this one and then we need to um, get out of the square root sign so press the right key 
and then close the bracket again and that closes the outside bracket and then we're going to put in divide by bracket again 2 times a so 2a finish the bracket okay so there is the quadratic formula entered into the calculator okay so now if you press enter it will find out what x equals so x equals 0.33333 all right so um, let's say that we want this as a fraction so you can also do uh, math to fraction press enter and you've got your answer as a fraction now to test that um, this actually does work I'm gonna substitute 1 over 3 back into the formula and let's just try it out so 3 times the answer squared plus 2 times the answer minus 1 alright so we're just substituting this number back into the formula to see that it does equal 0 and yes the answer does equal 0 so x equals 1 over 3 is one of the solutions now if you guys remember when I enter the formula I put in uh, plus over here and I neglected the minus so now we're gonna go back into the formula and change the plus to a minus so to go back you would go second enter second enter and just keep doing that until you find your equation and now we're gonna go back to change the plus which is here into a minus okay and now um, if you press enter again you should get the other solution which is negative one alright so the answer is one over three or negative one and you can simply substitute this number back into here in your head so that'll be three plus negative two which is um, one one minus one is zero so yep it does work okay so that's a bit of a longer way to do it next lesson I will show you a shorter way okay thanks for watching guys see you next time